but they're underestimating a lot of things like uh, even just the engineering aspect of it and the cost and then I know there's some structural components too with the garages that people sometimes overlook like can you touch on that a little bit like well, when you're doing a new build structure, uh, structurally you're doing all that from scratch, uh, either your architect or if you have a structural engineer involved, they're going to be doing a full design package right from the get-go. But when you're retrofitting an existing structure, of course there's some costs that you save on because you have a decent shell. But it's up to the architect to go through, figure out is that decent shell in fact decent, right? Because it might have been fine to stay as, a, as an abandoned garage for a couple of years, but it may not be fine to be a permanent home, which should be lasting for many, many more years. I like that you said abandoned garage because in Hamilton, a lot of people that want to convert these garages, and I'm sure you see them too, they're like these dilapidated structures. Yeah. You know, the roof is bowing in and the walls are, you know, not up to code to the thickness, which I think is an issue you ran into on your projects too, right? Was uh, that the walls weren't thick enough in a garage in one of the projects you did there? Yeah, so one of the building code requirements when you are retrofitting a new garage or building a brand new garage, you have to build it up to today's code. Right? And that involves a certain amount of insulation in the perimeter walls. Very different from a basement apartment retrofit, which is just meet or exceed. Right? So if you have a wall that's not thick enough in your basement, you can just fill it with whatever insulation you want. But a garden suite is a home, so you have to have six inches of insulation. And a lot of these things aren't built with two by sixes on the outside, they're built with two by fours. So you start to get into a point where the type of contractor that does basements, for example, may not be the best fit for the garden suite.